Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Anytime we get a box from Haldex, it's a good day. Now, the fittings I ordered are wrong. They're the opposite of what they should be. And according to Colt, what I'm trying to do might be Loctited together so we may or may not be able to get this installed today, but we're gonna give it a shot. Before I open this and show it to you, I wanna let you know the link that I'm gonna give you at this time, I checked before I started filming, has three of these units left. You snooze, you lose. The last time I posted a link on a video, the stuff was gone in less than three hours. So that kind of gives you a, a heads up as to how rare these parts are and how hard they are becoming to access. So anyhow, let's open this up and I'll show you what it is. Like I said before, I don't know how long these are going to last, and I don't know if I'll be able to install it today, but we're going to give it a shot. It's about 100 degrees out here today. Um, I'm not a fan of that, but we're going to do what we can. So, here we go. You guys recognize this? I know it's super shiny in my hands, but originally, um, I believe they were probably shiny like this, but once they're on your truck, they change colors and get painted with uh, flat paint and whatnot. But anyways, this is a brake protection valve. Uh, it's on your wet tank. Um, been looking for one of these for a while and I'm glad we found it. I think that's the part number right there. You may be able to find it at an alternate uh, source, but I will leave a link in the description. Um, I'm going to go out to the truck and attempt to get the old assembly off and then we'll bring it in the bench on here and I'll show you how to take that apart, if it'll come apart. Okay, I did get it off the truck and this one came loose as I was pulling it off the truck. So that one's loose. Let's see if we can figure out. The other one. Hopefully, I can get this off of here without too much hassle. Oh, it's no problem. No problem at all. So there was no Loctite on here. There is a little bit of residual moisture in these. Um, this now becomes... A spare even though it's really old um, let's see if there's any markings on it it's got a Midland part number on it it's also got the numbers on the side like this one does and I'll show you guys the correct orientation here. So there you go, there's Midland part number and it's got a one and a two. So, yeah, it looks like they're reversed. on this valve because if you look at two, it's actually one on this other one. But I'm gonna attach it to the same end and this side with the spring in it should point towards the lines and the T like that. I'm gonna put some pipe dope on this before I put it back together though. Um, and clean these threads up a bit. There's no harm in adding a little bit of pipe thread dope. This is stuff I use. I will leave a link in the description for this as well.
you don't need very much of it. This thing, this stuff is rated at 10,000 PSI, which you're never gonna see on this little tiny valve. Um, but you definitely want something on there, I would think. Looks like it wants to be oriented a different way now all of a sudden. So, try to get it back to the way it was. Looks like that'll work for that side. And then for this other side. This side, the orientation doesn't matter, obviously. So it was facing this way on the truck originally. So that makes total sense um, the way it's set up. all you need, not too much. Wipe everything down a bit and then we'll get this put back on the truck. Just for reference guys, that's what it should look like. You've got your one pointed towards the T and your two going back to the tank. I'm hoping that's right. I guess we're gonna find out here in a minute. If it's backwards, the CTIS and the fan clutch won't work. So we're gonna figure this out here. I'm gonna start the truck up, let it air up, and then we'll go from there. Okay, here we are. We just got past uh, 90 PSI and we're working our way up. If the system is working, the CTIS will try to engage, uh, check the pressure, and then the highway light should go solid. So that little pressure protection valve allows air to go through at a certain set point. I believe the stock set point is 85 PSI if I remember right. But the beauty of that valve is it's adjustable. Um, the other ones on a market aren't adjustable like the OEM one is, which is why I wanted to try and find the original one. But um, yeah, so here we are and there it goes. So it's checking the tire pressure, filling the tires that might be low. And then we should get a confirmation uh, once the tires are at the correct pressure. And there we go. Looks like it works the way it's supposed to. With the tanks aired up, I don't see or hear any leaks. So that's good. And hopefully, this new valve will cure the malfunctioning old valve. Once in a great while, I'd have to get out and tap on it because it wouldn't let air through. So yeah, there's a diaphragm in there that goes bad after a while and it stops working as good as it should. But uh, yeah. So that was a easy fix. I know this is a short video, but I wanted to share it with you guys. And uh, by the way, this is not the last CTIS episode. I think I got one more in my pocket. I got something pretty neat that I want to show you guys and I'm going to also give you access to 
that unit if you'd like to purchase it but um, it might take a couple weeks two or three weeks to get here um, but I'm pretty excited about it if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed yet love to have you as a subscriber it's nice seeing you guys again but other than that uh, I hope you guys are staying safe taking care of each other and as always I will catch you next time see you later bye bye